Hello and welcome to my video from home and today on A Vogel Talks Menopause I'm going to be talking about will my libido ever come back? If you like my tips and advice then please subscribe and remember to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of all my new videos. Will my libido ever come back? This is a question I am asked so very often. The problem with this is that it's different for every single woman and there is no quick fix, there is no easy answer for this one unfortunately, but there are things you can do to help yourself. The first and probably most important thing is to understand why this is happening and then it makes it easier to sort it if this is what you, you wish to do. So the main thing here is falling oestrogen and testosterone. If they are both falling together and testosterone is the hormone, women do have testosterone. And this is very often associated with arousal, with feeling sexy, having that, that drive. So if you lose both your oestrogen and testosterone, then the arousal phase can get completely missed out. Falling oestrogen itself can cause things like vaginal dryness and, and, and soreness. So if you are not even feeling like it to start with, and you're also getting a lot of vaginal discomfort, then the last thing on your mind is going to be sex. Other things that can compound the problem is fatigue. You know, if you're having poor sleep, if you're tired all the time, you're not going to have the energy for sex, let alone um, the desire for it. You're just going to be too tired. And a lot of women tell me that come night time, all they want to do is go to bed and sleep, never mind anything else. The stress and anxiety, and this is not the best state to be in to feel sexy. Um, you've also got low mood or mood swings, and that is going to um, interfere or cause problems in your relationship. You know, if you're getting annoyed and irritated with your partner, again, the last thing you, you're gonna be thinking about is having loving feelings um, to, towards them. It can be your body changes. You know, our, our bodies do change as we approach and go into the menopause. We can put weight on, which may make us feel very self-conscious about being naked in, in front of our partners. Our hair can change, our skin can change. And all of these things can impact on our body image and our self-confidence can just completely disappear at this point and we can feel extremely unattractive, even if our partner is telling us the complete opposite. We just don't believe them. It can be very difficult to um, you know, understand that this is not something that's going to come back straight after the, the menopause on its own. Now, very often it will happen and it can be due to the fact that we reach a new norm. We have to accept our body, our feelings and where we are in our lives as we are now. But there are things that you can do to help yourself and sort of recognizing the changes and however unwillingly just accepting them and being happy in the new you can make a real difference to how you feel on an emotional level. So the thing to do here is if you are experiencing vaginal dryness or soreness, you can look at supplements such as the sea buckthorn, remember the water as well. This is really important for, as we say, just about everything. You need to sort out the emotional issues as well. And it's very difficult. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here saying, talk to your partner, get them to understand why you don't feel like having sex on a regular basis. That can be one of the most difficult things that, that you do. And if you're feeling low and emotionally vulnerable, then trying to put these things in, into words can be very, very difficult. But it is important because very often for our partners, they don't understand what's going on with us. And they think that every no 
is a rejection of them, whereas this is really coming from the part of you that's just not interested in, it, in anything like that at the moment. So again, if you can't talk to your partner, then write things down and maybe, um, you know, give that to them because sometimes writing things down can make you focus on them and make it easier for yourself to understand, but it may give them a little bit of time and space to read through what's going on with you. And sometimes that can have quite a, a positive impact on um, re relationships. If you're low in energy, then it's really important to have your me time. If you're fatigued all the time, please check with your doctor in case there's other lying health issues. Check your diet, make sure that you're really feeding your body well so that there's extra for all these other things that, that you may wish to do. And some people do tell me that making time for your partner is really important. As menopausal women, we can be so busy. It can be the busiest time of our lives. And then we're still trying to fit other things in as well. And some women do tell me that organizing a weekly date night with their partner really puts things back into perspective. And anticipation is a huge part of the build up to sex. So having something to look forward to at the end of the week instead of being expected to jump straight into to, to bed on, on the spot can often help to get the libido going again too. You can also look at certain herbs that can be helpful for the libido. Not a magic fix, but sometimes they can help to balance everything that little bit better. So you have herbs such as maca, such as ginseng. If the flushes and sweats are bothering you, there is sage. If you are needing to get a good night's sleep, if it's a fatigue, there's wonderful herbs such as valerian and hops that can help to give you a much better night's sleep and you know just um, give you that little bit of extra um, energy and also if anxiety and mood swings are problems then there's things like uh, the herb avena sativa or passion flower. We have remedies with quite a few of these herbs in so you will find information on all of these in the description. So I hope this has helped. It, it's such a difficult subject to talk about. It's, it's a very complex subject. As I've said, this it's a different situation for every single one of you out there. But if you have got really good tips, is there something you've done that's really put the oomph back into your life? We would love to hear about it and please share it. And until then, I'll see you shortly for another video from home.